NVIDIA recently introduced the Jetson Generative AI Lab. It allows developers to experiment with generative AI using NVIDIA Jetson Edge devices in practical scenarios. The website contains tutorials, benchmarks, and reference material for using Jetson on many different AI applications. On the homepage, click on Walkthrough, which covers some of the material on the site in more detail. The article gives a good glimpse of the different tutorials and demos available. Back on the front page, we can look at Explore Tutorials. This gives access to a list of tutorials on the website, along with jumping off points for other resources. Let's take a look at one of the tutorials in depth. For this demo, we are using a Jetson AGX Orin 64GB with Jetpack 5.1.2. Let's wander over to the Text plus Vision section. LAVA stands for Large Language and Vision Assistant. It's a large multimodal model that connects a vision encoder and LLM. Let's get started by installing Jetson containers. One of the common procedures in the tutorials is to install Jetson Dash containers. On the Dusty Dash NV account on GitHub, there is a repository named Jetson Dash containers. We clone the repository and then switch over to that repository's directory. Next, we update the apt repository and then install Python 3 pip. Finally, we use pip to install requirements.txt. The requirements.txt file contains a list of Python module dependencies. Let's open up a terminal and run the example. Follow the instructions on the tutorial web page. These tutorials update frequently. Follow the instructions on the page to get the latest and greatest. Then we are ready to load and run our web UI. It takes about a minute to load. Let's open up a new tab and we'll go to port 7860 on this machine. One thing that is not mentioned in the tutorial is that you need to set the character before using the web UI. Select the parameter tab and then character. You can take a look at the example. And then you can build a character to suit your needs. When you are done, make sure to save the character. Then click the chat tab and scroll down the page. I have a web page open on some images. Let's grab this picture of giraffes. Please describe the image. It takes about three seconds before it starts to answer. Hello, I'm here to assist you in any way possible. In this image, there are four giraffes standing together on a field of tall grass or short bushes. It appears that they might be part of a family, as some have their necks around each other, showing affection and companionship among them. They seem to be enjoying the open space while grazing on plants within the area. Let's find a picture of New York City. Let's grab this one. Please describe the scene. The image features four giraffes walking across a busy street at night. This captivating sight could evoke emotions such as wonder, curiosity, fascination, and admiration for the beauty of these majestic animals. There are no giraffes in this picture. It's fibbing. Let's ask it some more probing questions about the giraffes in the city. Are the giraffes hipsters? Based on the context provided, the giraffes are not hipsters. Of course, I have a few follow-on questions about that. I've heard that these urban giraffes drink quite a bit. Do you think they were out after a party? Johnny AI replies, given that these giraffes appear to be walking across a busy street at nighttime, it seems plausible that they might have been attending a gathering or party earlier in the evening. I wanted to know if they could catch a bus uptown. And Johnny AI replies, although the image doesn't explicitly depict giraffes riding a bus, one can infer that since they are sharing the same streetscape, it is likely that the giraffes will be able to board the bus if given the opportunity. Now these results seem strange on the outside looking in, but the big point is that the UI for using these AI tools are rather primitive and have many issues. We can see here in the log that it embedded two images, the giraffes and the city. This ignores the UI setting. This is to be somewhat expected, as the tools themselves are new and open source. 
Note that these aren't NVIDIA tools, but rather tools from out in the wild. If we start off with a clean context and only the one picture, we get a much more reasonable response. Let's take a look at another example from the Judson Containers lava area. Let's drag the image over. What does the road sign say? We get back an answer saying it's Hoover Dam, and we get some supporting information about Hoover Dam. How far away is the exit? It basically says, I don't know. According to the sign in the image, how far away is the exit? The sign indicates that the Hoover Dam exit is only two miles away. The sign says half a mile, but that's certainly a reasonable mistake. What is the environment like? It returns a description and even includes that it's part of the Mojave Desert. One more example. Here's the picture of the contents of a refrigerator. Describe the image. 45 seconds later, we get back a description of the contents of the refrigerator. We also get back some editorial content about the owner of the refrigerator. The refrigerator is owned by a chef, so it's surprisingly close. Do you see any avocados? Why, yes, there are, even though I misspelled avocados. Please construct a recipe using ingredients found in the refrigerator. It then takes about 45 seconds to come up with a recipe for a refreshing summer salad. Note that this is quite a bit different than just identifying items in the fridge. This indicates what appears to be intuition about how the items can be related in situations not shown. If you have some time, go and explore the NVIDIA Jetson Generative AI Lab. It's certainly worth the time. Here's a video that explores a couple of other tutorials on the site.